Have you ever wondered what this cube is in a backgammon set? Well, this is a video on how to use a Dublin cube. Check it out. The Dublin cube here is a dice that isn't like your other dice on the board. It's got numbers that go up by double each time. But what is the doubling cube? So let's get into it. It has nothing to do with the actual game play itself. It is a cube that is for gambling. How do you gamble? In backgammon, every game you're playing, for example, is worth a point. One game, you win it, you get one point. So let's say that's a dollar. But the doubling cube, it comes into play if you want to make the game worth more than a dollar. I'm just going to go ahead and take a, a move. And we're playing this game. And at some point, I look at the board right before my turn. And I go, I'm actually winning this game. I turn this cube to two. And I say to my opponent, I'm doubling you. And what that means is I no longer want this game to be one point or one dollar. I want this game to be worth two points or two dollars if I win. At this point, the opponent has the ability to either accept or deny that double. If he accepts it, then the game continues on and it's worth double. If he denies it and does not accept it, the game is already over. I've won the one point and we restart the game. Now that it's at two though, where the game gets interesting is as we play, let's say my opponent feels that he's starting to win. He can double me back. Okay, one thing that you need to know is because I doubled him, he now controls this cube. I cannot decide I'm winning even more and therefore want to make it worth four points. Once I've doubled him and he's accepted, I cannot redouble him. So the, the cube is in his court. He can redouble me back to four. And at that point, I have to make a decision as to whether or not I'm willing to let the game continue and the winner will get four points, or I can deny that, in which case I would automatically lose immediately, and it would, since the game had already been doubled to two, I would lose the two points. And let's say I did accept it, and then somehow the game turned and I was winning again, I could double him back from four to eight, or he could then go back and double me back to 16. I have never in my entire life of playing this game, seen it get higher than 16. So just to recap here, number one, you can only double right before you roll, not after you take a turn. Number two, the, your opponent needs to either accept the double, in which case the game is double points, or the game is over and you've won. Number three, once your opponent has accepted the double, they're in charge of this cube and they can double you back, but you cannot redouble them. I hope that makes sense. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Please let me know. Bye.